What is going on everyone? It is Mladen here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the implementation intention and understanding what it is, how we can utilize it and make sure that we're kicking those goals in the future. If you've been enjoying the videos as of lately, feel free to chuck a cheeky subscribe right here, a like down below. Welcome to today's video. We're gonna kick things off in a moment. The implementation intention, what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. As always, you probably never asked, but I can share what the implementation intention, and it goes back to a study that was conducted out of Great Britain in 2001, where they brought in 249 people, and they split the 249 people into three groups. The first group was the control group. And the control group, they essentially said to them, we want you to do a workout this week. And once you've done with the workout, we want you to write down when you did it. And the second group was the motivation group where they got them to review some training material that involved the benefits of working out. Also, they brought in a speaker who also spoke about the benefits of working out and why it's important to be working out to begin with. And just like the first group, they told them, we want you to work out this week. And after you've done the workout, we want you to write down when you did it. Now, the third group was the implementation intention group where they had told them specifically, exactly like the second group, we're gonna give you some training material, we want you to review the benefits of working out. They also even brought in the speaker and the speaker also had mentioned you know, the benefits of working out also. Now, the only difference between this group and the previous group was that they told the implementation intention, the third group, that we want you to write down right now when, where, and how you're gonna be doing the workout. In other words, scheduling yourself in. Anyway, they would sent all three of the groups back home to let them do their thing and come back in a week's time. So in a week's time, the groups come back and now what we can see are the results. In the first group, we can see that the control group came back at 35%. The second group, which was the motivation group, came back at only 38%, only 3% more than the first group. And they were the ones that were provided the material, the benefits, even a speaker to come in and G them up. However, the third group, which was the implementation intention group, came back at 91%. And as you can see right here, there is a graph from this study. This study was also brought up in James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, and there will be a blog post down below, which will be linked to the article of that study too. What the hell have we learned from this? Well, we've learned that when we schedule something in, in advance and when we treat it like an appointment, for example, going to the dentist, to our tattooist, tax accountant, hairdresser or barber. Essentially, we're writing something down or placing a note somewhere, whether it be on our phones, the sticky note or the bloody fridge. We're doing something productive in advance to book ourselves in. And what happens? You can say that 91% of the time, we eventually end up going to the appointment and if we don't, we end up rescheduling. Now, what can we learn from this? Well, we can utilize the implementation intention and treat this in our personal lives. For example, if we are looking to set up a new habit, fill in the blank, whatever it is that you want to start doing, whether it's starting to read, taking cold showers, going for a run, going for a walk, learning how to box, learning a new instrument, whatever it is, there is an opportunity for you to jump on board. And the best way to go about it is to schedule it in advance, just like they've done in the study. I remember when I first started using my calendar and I'm huge on calendars. If you look at my calendar right now, I've got that thing filled up from morning to evening. And on top of that, I also have my to-do lists that I try to get things done. And before I ever started using a calendar or have some sort of routine or a to-do list, I was literally winging it. And as a result, I had such a complicated mindset. There was no order. There was no organization. I did not know what the f I was doing and I was running on autopilot. Unfortunately, this is something that we don't get taught in schools along the lines of personal development and taking care of ourselves. You know, it's in the same school of thought with personal finances, learning how to meditate. You know, unfortunately, the system is sadly broken and we have to figure out on our own how we can do these things and the best way to do it is to read books within the personal development field and take away the things that mean the most to you and try out these new things life is an experimentation if we don't try we don't know and for trial and error i've been able to find this study i've been able to talk about it i've been able to retain a lot of information regarding this topic and that is not a coincidence I schedule in my learning, I schedule in my education, and I schedule in my development. We want to innately grow. However, if we don't know how to coordinate ourselves, it can be a little bit hard. But 
I would highly recommend checking out that blog post below related to the implementation intention study. It's a good starting point if you wanted to learn more about that stuff as well. And also just as a side note, I forgot to mention, utilizing a calendar can tremendously set you up with whatever goals, ambitions, aspirations, anything that you would love to do in your life. Time management is key because if we are spending the time on the wrong things, then it's not gonna give us value. It's not gonna give us fulfillment. However, if we spend time on the things that we enjoy doing, Doing, the things that we love, the things that give us fulfillment, the more we can manage it, the more we can do it. There's a quote that I love, which sort of puts everything into a, into a one-liner with what I'm trying to say. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment by Jim Rohn. Now, if you're anything like me, I always forget sh all the bloody time. Sometimes I forget to do the most basic stuff in my life, but having something in place, such as a system, such as a habit tracker, if you click up right there, you'll be able to be guided through a full tutorial of how to build your own habit tracker, set up your own habits that you wanna be tracking, fully customizable, bang, 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 game over. It is the one, the only, the habit tracker. Click up there or click down in the description below and you'll absolutely love that step-by-step -step tutorial process where not only you can track your habits, build your habits, but you can kick ass in life as well. And lastly, probably my second favorite system is habit stacking. And if you're wondering, what the f is habit stacking? Well, lucky for you, I've got another video up there or down in the description below, you can check it out as well. Other than that, thank you kindly so much for watching today's video, I do appreciate it. And we're going to keep this consistency going. If there's any feedback or anything that you wanna pass on on stuff that I can do to improve, whether it be the quality, the way that I conduct myself, or if you wanna see more animation in the videos, please kindly let me know down in the comments below. Any feedback is good feedback for me. But yeah, other than that, you take care of yourselves, guys. Love, peace, and bless. The implementation intention. The intention implement. Hold on. Wait, what? Implementation intention. <laughs> the implementation intention. What is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. As always, you probably never asked.